What's up, Pokemon Spit Beta? This is Crispy Melon 44, and today I have a mixed year match with three OUs and three UUs. And the Celebi is now OU, so it's working out. Um, this battle is versus my good friend Shikamaru 1218, and it was a very good match, so I hope you like it. Anyways, I'm gonna leave with my choice banded Dragonite, and I know he's gonna want a U turn, or if he has HP Ice, because all well, most infernames I see now are banded. So I'm just going to go for the extreme speed, just get some nice damage on, and he does some pathetic damage with that U-turn. So I'm glad I clicked the extreme speed on that move. If I'd gone for the Earthquake, he would have switched down into his Don Fan and took the hit nicely. Okay, so as he goes into his Don Fan, I just want to go into my Rotom, so I take the least amount of damage with the rocks and everything, and I do want to break his 30. So he, I go for the Overheat, and he's going to switch down into a Snorlax, but pretty much the bulkiest thing on his team that can take it due to Snorlax's great base HP and natural special bulk. Right here, I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp, knowing that my special attack is lower, and this Snorlax uh, has great bulk, so I can't really do much to it, even with the Thunderbolt. So, I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp. I do miss, which kind of sucks, but it didn't really matter now, but it pretty mat mattered a lot, crucial, like, later game. But you'll see that. I'm going to double switch into my Dragonite, knowing that I can hit most of his team pretty hard with the Choice Bandit move, since most of his team is under base 80 speed. Anyways, um, as he goes into his podium, this is the biggest mistake that I made the whole match. He has a balloon. I was totally not paying attention. I did not see that. I go for the earthquake, and he has a balloon. So he's just going to take me out the ice beam. That was the biggest fail of the game, and oh my god, that's terrible. Anyways, I'm going to go into my Celebi. Just want to get my rocks up. I know he'll fear the Leaf Storm or possibly the Hidden Power Fighting, but he's going to go after a Snorlax to take it regardless. And I do get rocks up for free, which is going to be nice to break in the Dawn Fit sturdy and just helping me out overall in general throughout the game. Anyways, I'm going to switch out and go into my uh, Sableye. I do want to get this thing burned, and I know I can take pretty much any hit twice. But that crunch is, is going to do a lot because I am invested in special defense because I figure, like, since you have the burn, you won't really need as much in physical defense. At least he's going to withdraw. He's going to go into his Infernape. I'm just going to recover because I don't like how much that's doing to me, and I want to get some health back. And after the Stealth Rocks, I know after two substitutes, I'm going to be able to kill him off with his own Flare Blitz Recoil. So I'm just going to go for that substitute. I figured that um, two substitutes, like subbing down, would do less than a Flare Blitz Choice Banded would do to me. So I figured that was the best play I could have making. Making? Is that a word? And I'm going to finish his Infernape off, which was a pretty big threat. Now that his Infernape is out of the way, I'm going to have an easier time with my Celebi. Sure, his Domfig could spin the rocks away, but since his Sturdy is broken, I, I would be able to KO with the Leaf Storm if you wanted to spin my rocks away. So I'm in a pretty good position right now. My Sableye is at a pretty good amount of health. He's going to send his Skarmory. I just want to get this thing burned, because I know this Skarmory can be very bulky and very annoying, and he is just going to whirl on me as I miss the will o -Wisp. I mean, not that big of a deal. Um, this Skarmory isn't going to be that much of a threat, because um, I do get whirlwinded into my Empoleon, which is pretty lucky, because I am a special attacker, and Skarmory has a weaker special defense stat, but still, I would have liked to get that will o -Wisp. Definitely would have helped in 2 KOing this Skarmory. I don't believe I do 2 KO it, because I'm not in the Patea Berry range. Also, I asked him if I could use the Patea Berry, so it's all cool. Don't flame for unreleased. Unreleased is cool. It's all cool. Um, I'm going to go for the Surf, as he switches out into a Snorlax. And this Snorlax is a special one. That does a lot. So I'm thinking, well, I could sub down until I get to my Patea and Torrent, and um, then I could kill it. So that's what I'm going to aim to do. I'm going to do that. And basically, once you get to your Torrent, you get... Um, times 1.3, and then Patea Berry is basically like a free nasty plot, so I was figuring that that would kill since I'm modest and everything, but it actually turns out not to kill because he's getting so much leftover recovery back that um, the smart play put really, been, really would have been the switch, but uh, I, I really didn't get it, like how it wouldn't kill with the whole Patea Berry boost and all that, so I'm going to sub down. The Patea Berry boost is really nice. He's going to break this sub with the Earthquake. It's fine. I'm just going to go for that Surf. And now, after he gets leftovers, which kind of played a big part with me not getting the burn earlier, I'm going to go for the surf. And torn boosted and everything, it does not kill him, which kind of made me angry. Not, not going to lie, that was a big disappointment. But his Snorlax is at low enough HP, where I can go to my Mian Chow. I don't know how to say it, Mian Chow. And um, I'm going to be able to kill him with the high jump kick. And the spikes and stealth rocks, no big deal. I can just recover that off with the regenerator. Not really recover it off, maybe heal it off. Heal sounds cooler. Um, now he's going to go into his Don Fan. I could go for the HP Ice. 
Um, but knowing Don fans, great HP set, it probably wouldn't kill because Mind Shell has a pretty much lackluster special attack set. So I'm going to go for the U-turn, get a little damage, and even with the Life Orb damage, I can still recover it off with a Regenerator. So it was, um, all in all, the better play instead of just hard switching. I do want to go into my save life. Hopefully I could live um, an Earthquake, but since I didn't get the burn on his... Um, Whatever Pokemon Snorlax it was before, I am not going to be able to live that earthquake due to prior damage. But now I'm going to go into my Celebi, knowing that I can live an Ice Shard, even with I have like a 112 EVs in HP, but I can still live an Ice Shard because it's not stab or anything. It's only 40 base power, and um, I'm just going to take it out with a Leaf Storm. That's great. He can't spin my rocks away. I'm going to have him for the remainder of the match, which I was very happy about that. I don't know why. Anyways, he's going to go into his Skarmory. I'm just going to go for the recover as he goes for the ruse. Basically, we're both trying to get our utility Pokemon back to good health so we can use them later in the match. Now, I'm going to switch out into my Mian Chow because I know when I'm whirlwinding me as I switch into my Rotom Heat because then I'll just take even more damage from the rocks. And I was pretty sure that he would predict my um, Rotom Heat to come in. That's why I went to the Pokemon that could do the least amount of damage to his... um. Skarmory that wouldn't mind the entry hazards. So now I'm going to get a free switch in. Not free because of rocks, but pretty good free switch in into my Rotom Age. And I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt. And since he's sturdy, I didn't want to go for the overheat, even though it would kill. But um, the Thunderbolt does not bring it down to a sturdy. comes very close, though. I get the Paralyze, and I get the Fully Paralyze. The first bit of hacks, I get the game, but that really mattered. I'm able to KO with the Thunderbolt, and that kind of let my Rotom at a good position, like a good amount of health, so where I can live um, an attack and a and a stealth rock switching. So I'm very happy about that. I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt. Energy Unicles. Because if I went for the Overheat first before the Thunderbolt, it would have just done less damage. So it's pretty much the good play. And I was going to go for the Psychic. Special Defense Drop does not matter because I'm going to die from the next Psychic anyways. Now I'm going to go for the Overheat. It probably would have killed since Overheat is 140 and Thunderbolt's 95 and went stab. It does a whole lot more. But I do miss and he's just going to take me out the Psychic. Uh, it doesn't matter too much, but it would have been nice to take out the Reuniclus as is. Without having to go through all these shenanigans, as Spade calls it. Anyways, I'm going to get hurt by the spikes. Not too big of a deal. Um, the entry hazards, I can always recover them off. Anyways, I'm going to one-hit shot him with the Leaf Storm, which pro means I probably could have killed him with the Overheat, too. Anyways, he's going to switch into his Empoleon. I really don't want to switch into my Mian Chao because I could be ca KO'd by a um, Hydro Pump, Surf, or Ice Beam. So I'm just going to go for the Hidden Power Fighting, and at minus 2, it does not do enough to where I can, um, like, 3 a KO it. And he's going to go for the Agility. It's pretty much his game here, since Ice Beam will take out my Celebi, and he can take out my Miancha. Anyways, he's going to make what I thought was a pretty weird play here. He's going to opt to go for the Hydro Pump over the Ice Beam, even though Ice Beam probably could have killed my, um, Miancha. So I'm just going to go for the Hydro Kick, that is, a uh, Stab... Super effective, 130 base power, due to the buff this shit. That is going to be overkill on his Empoleon, and that is going to be good game, Shikamaru 12-18. I personally think it was a really fun match, and I hope you enjoyed. So thanks for having me, Pokemon Pit Beta, and hopefully I'll see you guys later. Peace.